Hi, welcome to Live Like an Athlete. Today we're going to be talking about metabolism. After age 25, you lose a half a pound of muscle per year. And just by losing that half a pound of muscle, then you're going to gain 2.6 pounds of fat in that year. That translates into 26 pounds of fat in 10 years. And 72 pounds of fat in 20 years just because you stopped moving, because you stopped exercising. So what we're going to talk about today is how we can rev our metabolism, how we can keep our metabolism up so we don't gain weight at the age. One of the easiest ways to keep your metabolism up is to do some form of strength training. So I'm going to show you a little bit about strength training today and we'll continue to talk about metabolism. So when you work out on machines, what you want to do first is you check how much weight is on a machine and then you'll have a seat. And just remember three things. Perfect posture, move slowly, and then the weights never touch. And I'm on my way now to increasing my metabolism. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Now we're burning calories all day long. 30% of the calories you burn in a day are due to the activity of moving around. Uh, like right now I'm burning about eight calories per minute while I'm weight training. You walk to your car, you pick up your kids, that's burning calories. So that's about 30% of the calories you burn in a day. About 10% of the calories that you burn are from what's called the thermic effect of food, meaning every time you eat, you're actually burning calories to assimilate that food into your system. So that's why we recommend eating about five meals a day, five small meals a day. And then the rest of your caloric expenditure, 60%, is due to your basal metabolic rate. So let's talk about basal metabolic rate. I'm going to go to a different machine. Now, uh, basal metabolic rate, that's the amount of calories that you burn in a day. So let's break basal metabolic rate down. And what we do is what we're looking at first, your fat cells are just somewhat metabolically active. That's only about 5% of your basal metabolic rate. Your bones are more metabolically active than your fat, so it's about 10%. And then the most important part of your basal metabolic rate, and you know what I'm about to say, is increasing the amount of muscle that you have. So if you can increase the amount of muscle that you have on your body, muscle is 25% of your basal metabolic rate. So that's what we want to do is increase our muscle because the, the rest of that 60% is your heart and lung function. So what we're looking at is putting this all together into a strength training program. Boom! <laughs> and as you saw, we got to make sure that seat is set in the right position. Luckily, it didn't happen when I was on there. But you want to work your muscles at all different angles, okay? Because if you work at different angles, then you're getting as many muscle fibers involved as possible. You also want to work at different speeds, so you can sometimes go slow, but if you want to work for power, you'll increase your speed. You're going to try to manipulate the amount of sets and reps, and also the amount of weight that you use, so that you're constantly keeping your muscles guessing, so that they have to adapt to your program. So the whole goal here is to use any form of resistance, whether it's a resistance band, whether it's a machine weight, free weights, to create a challenge to your muscles. And if you can create that challenge, then you're going to increase the muscle's ability to perform work. The more fitter you become, and the more that's going to increase your metabolism over time. Thanks for joining us for Live Like an Athlete. See you next week.